Give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money. when you're summoned by the map. Some pony needs our help? We're being called by the map? Oh shit, we're in for a bad time today. But what's way out there? Mount Eris, the home of the Hippogriffs. And that's where you're headed. Whoa. At this point, I think the map is just a shortcut to figuring out a reason to even go outside of Ponyville. This is what the fandom thinks it wants, after all. You really don't need to come with us, Twilight. We can take care of this mission just fine on our own. Mm-hmm. Yeah! <laughs> I know that, but I'm not so sure the ponies who care about you want you going off so far on your own. Twilight, you let Starlight go to Canterlot unsupervised, so clearly these two are fine to go all the way out into space. Sounds like some pony just wants a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, I have been wanting to visit Mount Eris ever since the Hippogriffs moved back, but it's purely research. Are you a pariah? Won't Queen Novo kill you on sight? I don't know if I'd like being a Hippogriff. Part bird, part pony? I'm happy with just my pony parts, thanks. Scootaloo, you're already part bird. She can't fly, though. There's lots of birds that can't fly. There's the penguin, the dodo, the ostrich, the emu, the cassowary, the kiwi. I think that's it. Sorry I'm late. I'm Silverstream's brother, Terramar. A hippogriff can have a sea pony for a brother? How does that work exactly? Shh, it's rude to ask a question like that. Yeah, Apple Bloom, keep your southern instincts to yourself. And now, I officially open the Glad to Be a Hippogriff Festival! So, Hippogriff Pride. That's Hippogriff Pride. Why did you name it something needlessly wordy? How do you make up your mind which one to stay in? I can't. That's the problem. Did you say problem? You have a problem? Yes! Classy. That's why Silverstream and my dad and some of my cousins came back here. But Sequestria is another great place to live. That's where my mom is. Oh, I, I didn't know that. So no matter where I am, I feel like I'm letting someone down. So just do both. That's why you have that pearl shard, isn't it? You already have the solution to your problem. Hey, everypony. This festival is fantastic. Look what I won at the ring toss booth. <clears throat> but of course, I'm really here on business. She's scouting out a maximum security prison for her next student. Don't be shy, let the music inside and dance, dance, dance. This is my mom, Ocean Flow. And this is <gasps> Princess Twilight Sparkle. What an honor. You know, Silverstream just raves about you. Is nobody going to address the elephant in the room? What did you put in the water, Twilight? Look out! <laughs> Can't catch me! Oh, not much sunlight down here, is there? <laughs> boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom, bada, boom! No grass to run in and no hooves to run on it with. Come on, Sweetie Belle, just swim along, just join in the song. A musical for everyone to have a lot of finny fun. Apple Bloom, looks like it's up to you. Me? Well, both places have a lot of good things about them. I can understand why it's hard for you to decide. Well, this sounds like something that needs Terramar to sit down and discuss why he's feeling so conflicted in the first place and what's stopping him from living in both realms. Your heart is in two places, you can only live in one. <sighs> Fuck off. Terramar, where are you going? Uh, if you all can't even agree amongst yourselves, how am I supposed to make up my mind? It's hopeless! Live in both! You don't have to stay in one place. This is a false dilemma. All we had to do was help him choose which world to live in. And we let him down. Whoever said that he had to choose? Oh my god, finally. Huh. I thought for 
for sure he came this way. <gasps> he did. And I'm staying here too. That way I don't have to be on land or in the water. You can always move to Cloudsdale. We thought we'd get every creature together for a picnic on the beach. And we mean every creature. Taramar, your problems have been solved by multiculturalism, just like in real life. You don't have to decide. You can keep doing what you've been doing, going back and forth. And enjoying both places. <laughs> <laughs> this episode must be an allegory for divorce. Billy, divorce never once came up. Terramar's parents aren't even major elements in the story. He's having a cultural crisis. He's clearly biracial. I don't even know how you could miss this. It's right in the first act of the story. It is literally right there. Are you even paying attention at all? See the sign, can you reach it in time and tap, tap, tap? Swim this way, we'll dance, we'll play, now it's very easy, come on and just take a chance and shake a bit.